You're familiar with SideQuest, right? It has this really cool NVR app where you can browse all the games right here in VR. And uh, one of the most frequently asked questions was, can you actually change settings while you're in this VR app? Because SideQuest has a lot of advanced settings that you can change, such as the recording resolution, the texture resolution, disabling the proximity sensor, and a lot of, a lot of other cool things. But up until now, it was impossible to change it inside your VR app. But now it is totally, totally possible. As you can see, I can turn on foveated rendering, I can change the GPU level, and I can even change the texture resolution all right here. This is huge, huge news, and this update has just dropped. It's fresh and hot. Some of you maybe already have the SideQuest NVR app. If you don't have it yet, there is another update from SideQuest, which is a web based SideQuest installer. All you need to do is, well, literally click on a button on a web page and that will automatically install the SideQuest VR app onto your Quest. You will need a PC or your Android phone that can run a browser. So it still has to be a PC or an Android phone. And you also need the developer mode enabled. Of course, we always need this. This is the Meta's requirement and we need to do it. So just to show you how it works, I am going to uninstall this app from here and I'll install it again from scratch onto my headset here. I'm uninstalling it. There you go, it's done. So what you need to do is open sidequestvr.com and go to get sidequest. What used to be an easy installer right here is replaced by what's called experimental web installers. Click select. One thing to know is before we start, you need to get your sidequest account. So uh, make sure that you're signed in with your account here because you will need it to link up your sidequest VR app to your account. You will need a USB C cable here. I'm going to be using this USB C cable, but you need to make sure that you're using a data cable transfer and not just any charging cable. And then you will need to enable your developer account. And if you don't know how to do that, there is a very handy little video right here on their website that shows you step by step how to do that. It's really very, very easy. As you can see, this video is less than a minute long. Uh, I made this video, so I made sure that it is very clear and easy to follow. So make sure you got your developer mode enabled. And after that, you can click on next step. All you need to do is connect your quest to your computer. So here, I'm going to connect it. And once it's connected, I will click on select device. And as you can see, it's already recognized by my computer. So I'm clicking on it and pressing connect. Now, it's very likely that you will get this error window, but don't be afraid. This is nothing scary. This simply means that there is another uh, app maybe somewhere on your computer that's already running ADB. It could be a SideQuest app that's already running on your computer, or it could be some other one. 100% way to get rid of this message is to reboot your computer. But if you don't want to reboot your computer, you have too much stuff open here, there's another way to do it. Open your task manager and that is the combination that you probably know, control plus L plus delete and open task manager. Right here, you will need to find uh, adb.exe under background processes. So here it is. That's the one that prevents you from connecting. So right click on it and task. That's it, it's gone. Now you can close the task manager, click on select device again, Quest is still connected, connect. So it's connected now. Now, if you put on your headset, you will see that you need to allow, uh, always allow from this computer, click on this button and not just allow uh, once, but always allow. And after that, you will be able to uh, install it. So this button will become available and you will simply click install side quest. It's happening, guys. It is installing it onto your headset. And there you go. SideQuest app has been installed to your headset. You can now use the app to install games. So anyway, it's done. Now I'll put on my headset again. 
So now the SideQuest app will automatically load up. If it hasn't loaded up for you automatically, go to your library, Unknown Sources, and from here, uh, start SideQuest. So the first time you run it, and only the first time that you run it, you will need to connect it to your account. So go to sdq.sd slash link in your browser. It also can be your phone browser or even the browser right here within your headset, as long as you're signed in with your SideQuest account and type in this code. I'm already signed in on my computer, so it's easier for me to just go from my computer. So sdq.st slash link, it will get me to this page. And now I'm just typing in the same code, 994. It's a random code, so don't worry. I'm not leaking any sensitive information here. Okay, ready to link to SideQuest, link now. That's it. This step is actually the same as it was before. It's no different from um, when you install this app for the very first time in any other method. And then you will allow permissions and that's it. And you will see that if this Wi-Fi icon is appearing like that, that means your ADB is enabled and you can change the settings from your SiteQuest VR app. You can go to device settings. You'll get the confirmation here that will say that Wi-Fi ADB is active. And if it's not active, you can simply click on it and activate it. You will see this window that will ask you to allow USB debugging. And that is basically what will allow you to control the settings. When you enable ADB, sometimes the screen may go black, in which case to bring back this pop-up window, you will need to click the menu button on your controller. Or if you're using hand tracking, you can simply pinch and select menu. And that way the pop-up window will appear. So. Uh, it's just a little thing. It's very easy to get around it. Click allow. That's how easy it is to change these settings. One thing that you need to know about texture resolution. Texture resolution is the only setting that is going to restart your SiteQuest VR app. So any other setting you can change and it will be applied right away. You can change the hand tracking frequency to improve hand tracking, video capture, bit rate, and a lot of other things. But if you want to change the texture resolution, actually, as you can see, I've already set mine to a pretty high one, right? So if I want to set it to this one, for example, the app is going to restart. Oh, I'm still connected. I actually don't need to be connected anymore. Here, and now, you can just open that app and you will see that if you go to device settings, this message was added here so that you don't freak out that your screen will go black. And to show you how awesome this is, I'm just going to install a new custom home. Uh, for example, this beach castle, I'm going to click on this. First time you sideload something, you will need to allow SideQuest as an unknown source. So you just toggle this, then you go back, install. Here it is, installed successfully. Now, okay, let me move this to the right so that I don't lose this window. Now open settings, personalization, and I already have quite a few custom homes here as you can see, but Peach's Castle is right here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, there are some other ones that I kind of like a bit better. For example, I really like this Hobbit Erebor throne room. This one just looks amazing. This Starry Night, one of the most creative ones that I have seen on SideQuest. Really, really amazing to be in the Van Gogh picture <laughs> as your custom home. This is by far one of my favorite ones to choose for my custom home. But of course, you can also get uh, not just custom homes, but you can sideload games here. So it all works the same as it did before. They did iron out a couple of glitches, so it works smoother now than before with this big update. And of course, the biggest update is the settings. All of this is completely free for all SideQuest users. And gaming profiles are also in the works. So very soon, you will be able to get uh, gaming 
gaming profiles for each game that you're playing, kind of like uh, the Quest Game Optimizer, but this app is asking for way less permissions and it is free. So it's pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments if you've managed to install this onto your Quest and uh, yeah, which settings do you like tweaking when you're playing with your Quest? Thanks for watching and see you next time.